Let's start with the question. How do I get items after they fall into the water? I'm not sure if this is even possible. But is there any way to gather ores and star fragments after they fall into the water? I just chased a star fragment literally forever and it landed on a cliff and dropped into a lake expressionless. So how can we solve this? There are five possible answers. Answer 1. You currently can't dive in Zelda. So if something falls into the water and you can't pick it up while swimming over it you are out of luck. The only solution how you interact with items below the water surface is the Magnesis tool. So you can try to drop a magnetic weapon. Or search for something magnetic. And try to fish with it. To push it to the beach and pick it up from there. Answer 2. I created a cryonis slab near the underwater gems. But not too close or you can't see them or hit them. Then used stasis on them one at a time and hit them with arrows to project them into shallower water so I could pick them up. A lionel bow or duplex bow works great because you get more hits with less arrows. Also you can pick up your arrows when you're done, as they float to the surface. Hope this helps. Answer 3. I made an ice pillar beside the gems that fell underwater. And jumped off wearing Zora armor so Link dives below the surface momentarily and you can grab. Whatever. Fell answer 4. Try stasis. That's what I did. I tried cryonis but there was too much of a gap between the mountain slope and the ice pillar. OBVS I put it as close as I could. But stasis worked finally. Answer 5. Also if you jump into the water from high enough he does a small dive animation if you're quick and dive right onto it can get down to grab. Some things, doesn't get you in real deep though. I hope these answers helped, and if they did, please drop a comment and subscribe.